The world of climate change is full of jargon, and one piece of jargon is the word mitigation, and that's a code word for reducing emissions of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. Another word is adaptation, and that means changing the way we live or the kinds of things we build so that climate change damages our economy and the ecosystems less than it would otherwise. Climate engineering is a basket of different kinds of strategies to try to reduce the amount of climate change that results from our greenhouse gas emissions. A and these uh, are a bunch of disparate ideas. So uh, on the one hand, there are some strategies that try to withdraw greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. And, and these are very similar to mitigation in that they're reducing the net addition of greenhouse gases from human civilization to the atmosphere. But another category of uh, proposals involves cooling the Earth by reflecting sunlight to space. And, and this is really a novel sort of intervention in, in the Earth system and, and doesn't really fit into that uh, adaptation mitigation dichotomy well at all. And so it, it, this, this idea of reflecting sunlight to space to cool the Earth is really a novel idea that's confronting uh, modern society. When we drive a car, CO2 comes out of the tailpipe. When we plug in a toaster in the wall, there's wires going to a power plant, and there's a good chance that power plant is spewing carbon dioxide pollution into the atmosphere. This, most of the CO2 that we put into the atmosphere will eventually be absorbed by the ocean. Once in the ocean, the CO2 reacts with seawater to form carbonic acid, and this carbonic acid is corrosive to the shells and skeletons of marine organisms. And even if it's not in high enough concentrations to actually dissolve the shells and skeletons, it can make it more difficult for the organism to build those shells and skeletons, and, and therefore the animal might not be able to compete ecologically. And we, we've done research both in the field and modeling on coral reefs that indicates that if current trends in carbon dioxide emissions continue, there'll be no place left in the oceans with the water with the kind of chemistry that has supported coral reef growth for the last tens of millions of years. And so our conclusion is that, that if current trends in greenhouse gas emissions continue, that, that uh, there'll be no place left in the oceans where coral reefs can be sustained. Climate engineering is a basket term for a wide range of different strategies. And some of these strategies would do nothing to help with ocean acidification. Others of them would do something. So if we take, for example, the most dramatic of the climate engineering strategies, reflecting sunlight to space, that doesn't affect the CO2 concentration in the ocean, and so it doesn't really help at all with ocean acidification. There are two kinds of strategies that would help with ocean acidification. One is the idea of greenhouse gas removal, more specifically carbon dioxide removal, because if you remove the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, that means that's not going into the ocean, and so it's helping with ocean acidification. The other idea is more or less to add an antacid to the ocean. So uh, you could grind up different kinds of minerals and that would react with the CO2 in the ocean or the carb carbonic acid in the ocean, and, there, and that way the carbonic acid wouldn't attack the marine organisms. The problem with all this is that there are no big wins. For every CO2 molecule that you release, you have to release another molecule to react with that CO2 molecule. So that means that whatever you do has to be done at the scale of our energy system. And most people think that if you're going to build some big technological infrastructure at the scale of the energy system, the best thing to do is build a clean energy system. So while it's theoretically possible to do climate engineering to help with ocean acidification, most observers think that really the sensible approach is just to transform our energy system into one that does not use the atmosphere and the oceans as a waste dump.